Hello, hello, hello. I feel like we were back here not 10 minutes ago. I have been super busy in the break and just realized I haven't done anything for setup. So just going to be winging it. So bear with me a second while I bring it all up online. Oh, hello. And there's people watching. Just going to open up those comments. Comments on. Hey, Colleen. Hey, Dill. How are you girls? All right. Make sure my tablet is charged and I don't lose charge halfway through. I know, we were just here. Am I, am I on time? Yeah, one thirty here, Adelaide time. I'm doing the right thing. Um, hey, Kylie, Christine. All right. So I am all good to go, I think, kind of. Um, it's all in my head. I've got no idea, kind of. Got a little bit of an idea what I'm going to create. I've got these awesome books and I've got some blending tools. So I thought I would do a little arty um, page, do a little something something. Um, so before I start, I just want to quickly show you a couple of little bits and pieces. This coffee cup is the freaking bomb. It is an absolutely awesome little cup. Little cup is an understatement. Um, I need to show you how big this is. Uh, and I've got nothing to show you in on scale. What can I show you? How can I show you how big it is? If I grab a... Oh, look, an ink thing. I reckon I could probably get one more in there. So it is like three times the size of a standard coffee cup and it is only 20 bucks and I've got two of them in stock. So um, very, very cool little buy. And the other thing is, is I have just put in my, um, I've created a new little thing on my website called Weekend Bonus. I've just had a look and I have got a whole heap of these blending tools that I have discounted down. So these are the mini mini ones with the um, sponges and then the big ones with the sponges. So um, jump online because I've just marked those down as well because I just found a box. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do is an art journal page. I'm going to do, I've got these um, in the shop and I absolutely love them. So these are the Dina Wakeley Media Collage Collective and what they are is some pre-made art by Dina Wakeley that you can cut out and stick into your journals. So these are great. They're quite inexpensive for what they are. And there's two different thicknesses of paper. This one's quite thin. And then the exact same prints are at the back. And they are in a much thicker weighted cardstock. So... I had a bit of a flick through mine before. Hey, Karen. And I want to use this one. So this is the original one that she's bought out. I've actually got some of these on their way. Um, these are double the price. Uh, I think these were like $30 or $29 or something like that. But, um, yeah, I'm going to use this one, this cutout. So I'm going to pop that aside. And I'm going to use some of my new stencils in this one. So I'm going to pop that up there and get going and make a bit of a start. So there we go. So I want to be using some paint for this one and I want to do a bit of a painty page. Paint is on special at the moment and uh, for today only. So I am going to be, um, I just thought I'd show you some paint techniques that are nice and simple and not too tricky. So I'm using my big Dina Wakely book and I know that you can't see the whole thing so I'm going to work page to page but I'm going to give my page a bit of a yellow background. So lemon Dina Wakely heavy bodied acrylic paint is probably the most versatile colour out of all of her paints. I find that this is the colour that goes with just about everything except for purple um, and it looks fantastic on pages 
Um, it is lovely and punchy and probably my favourite colour out of all of hers to use. Um, so I'm just using my, my catalyst tool to swipe it on and off in a vertical motion. Everyone knows that I love my catalyst tool and I really hope that most of you who have purchased yours, because I know most of you watching have bought one in the past, most of you love yours as much as I do um, and that you are getting really good use out of it. So swiping it on and off, the cool thing about using the catalyst tool is that it puts on a really nice coat of paint without being too much. Um, it doesn't take too long to dry either, which is a bonus. You want to be able to use a paint, sorry, a tool. Oh, bit of a freeloader there. Um, you want to use a tool that makes the process simple and easy and you don't want to have to use a heat gun unless, you know, you, you desperately have to. Um, so I'm going to be using a couple of colours for my background. And so I've got the lemon here and now I think I might use, I'm going to pop a little bit of Dilusions Pure Sunshine on next and just pop a little here and pop a little here. And do a very similar thing. Like that. I just want to get it on my page. And I'm going to be doing some stenciling over the top of this in a minute. So um, I don't want it to be too streaky. But I want the colour on there looking nice and bright. Nice and punchy. Um, if you don't have a tool like this, there is no reason why you can't use a paintbrush. Um, the reason I'm not using a paintbrush at the moment is because this is my favourite tool of choice. I think that this is probably one of my favourite things to use. Uh, I might go pink. Pink, 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 pink. So let me show you if I was to use a paintbrush what it would look like. Paintbrush. Whoops, sorry, didn't mean to bump that again. I'll just use a, oh, like a one centimeter paintbrush. Um, tends to have a few more brush strokes, but it works. Um, straight up and down like that. So an art journal page is, um, I've, I talked yesterday when I did a quick little art journal page, the idea of an art journal is different for a lot, for, for different people. I love creating art journal pages because they are a reminder of a technique or they're the opportunity to play, try something new and then, you know, if I don't like it, turn the page. It's not necessarily something that I Oops. I don't show my art journaling to a lot of people. Um, I create my pages for me, not to show off to the world. So um, I'm a bit, I guess, private like that. So I do think that um, there's, I've got, I don't know, up on the shelf up there, there's about two or three, uh, what have I got? about nine, nine journals plus that I've got full that I just, nobody's seen any of the artwork in. So, um, because like I said, it's about what I want to show people, not necessarily what, you know, I don't do it to impress you guys. So it is relaxing. I love doing it. I generally don't have much of a, a plan um, when I am creating an art journal page. But I'm just going to kind of get some colour on the background here. And you can see the sort of look that I'm going for. I started off with the yellow and after that was, that was my only intention was to show you the yellow. Um, 
and everything else after that has become a bit of a bonus. Um, I'm going to go back to my palette knife and swipe that over the top, thin it out in spots, move some of this paint around. So how's everybody's Saturday going? I think from um, going from what everyone has said, it's a bit cold and crappy around Australia at the moment. Um, stuff it, let's get a bit more yellow on there. Yellow is probably the color, like I said, the color that I do use the most. I go through more of it than any other color. I've always got three or four bottles of it um, sitting in my collection ready to go. Uh, so yeah, it is quite versatile. The only, like I said, the only thing I don't use it with is purple because what happens if you mix purple and yellow together? Anybody, anybody, anybody gonna comment what happens? A bit more yellow there. Hey Geraldine, come on, somebody answer, somebody answer. I've got this, this delay here. Brown, exactly, Janet. Thank you. Sorry, I've got like a 20 second delay between the tablet and and what I, what I can see on my, um, what I'm doing here. So, but yeah, so if you mix colors that are opposite on the color wheel, you are going to end up with brown. So you don't really want to do that. Um, so three colors have worked great. So I've used Pink Flamingo, Pure Sunshine, and Lemon Dina Wakely paint there. Um, okay, so I didn't fill up my water, so I have to go with my water bottle. Alrighty. So the next thing I want to do is I want to pop a little bit of stenciling on. Um, so I've got, for my background, I want to pop on some of my dots from my All The Dots stencil, and I'm going to use a blending tool for this so I do like using these because the sponges are washable meaning that I can build on I can clean them up and I can use them again um, oh my now my dogs are going nuts Jessica shut those dogs up please I can see that you're watching um, all right so what I want to do is I want to add some more color over the top here so I want to add a combination. I'm going to mix some yellow and orange together just on my glass mat off camera. Um, I apologize that you can't see it, but I want a an in-between shade to work with. So something along those lines. That is way too much paint. So I'm just going to dab it off and I want to use these big ones here. So this is my All The Dots stencil. This is, oh yeah, there we go. This is a stencil that I've designed and released lately. So you can find these online under Exclusives by Natalie May. And I'm just going over the top of the whole thing. Sorry, I know I've gone over to the other page uh, that you can't see but I don't want to drag it back through um, wet paint. So I'm just using, and I'm not even getting any more onto my sponge, I'm just using a dirty sponge to pick that colour up and move it around. Um, it kind of looks a little bit like a, a bit of a, a fiery sort of background at the moment, but the colours are actually working quite well together and I am going to be adding some stenciling and some stamping too. Okay, so I'm just gonna wipe that off with the baby one. So has anybody else had a bit of a play with any of the stencils yet that I have worked with? That, uh, sorry, that they have purchased of my stencils. I would love to see some of your creations and some of my stencils used in your artwork or journals or scrapbook pages or cards. Um, if you are not, if you have not done a, uh, if you have created something and you want to 
share it with me. If you put it on Instagram, just use the hashtag uh, Natalie May Scrapbooking and I would love to share that. Um, so next thing I want to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of paint off of that because it was a little, oh my God, how many times can I hit that? A little bit wet. Yep, see, a bit wet. How do you know if it's dry? Stick your fingers in it. I know. Okay, Hello, Miss Vicky. How are you today? Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I want to put a little bit of stamping on the background here. So when I do that, I just need to grab a Distress Oxide. It won't be a moment. I'm coming. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's that whole working on the fly thing. I've had an idea. And I'm going to go with it. Sorry, guys. You know, it's suddenly the brain's doing like 10 different things and I'm going, yeah, that's fine. Good thing everything is semi-close at hand. Um, okay, let's clean that baby off before I put my sleeve in it. All right. So I want to do some stamping in the same sort of colours as I've got in the background. So I have here my red rubber stamp, which is the uh, Won't Let You Down stamp. And I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use Spiced Marmalade. And I'm going to pop it straight onto my background. First thing I'm going to do is make sure that it, the words are up the right way. Yep. Because that's annoying. Oh yeah, there we go. So this is just putting some words over the top in a similar sort of colour to what I have used to create my background in. So it's about building those layers up. Alrighty. So these are just typewriter words um, in a... In a and some song lyrics or, well, they're versions of a song lyric due to copyright, of course. Um, but I wanted to typewriter script and so that's what I created. So it comes as a single stamp like that and you just need to trim the edges off it. Okay, I'll pop that one aside and I'm just going to heat set that just to make sure it's dry. because I still need to work on that bottom area. And I'll bring it up to the camera in just a second so you can see that stamping because it doesn't show up very well from this sort of distance. But it's just enough on the page. To show you, all right. So you can see those words there. You can't read what they say, but they create a pattern. And that is what we are after because we're creating our background. We're not creating our focal point. So um, Distress Oxides, I've got those in the shop. Uh, they are 15% off. Apparently, they're a little popular. So um, there's quite a few colours left of different ones. But yeah, get them while they're hot. Uh, okay, so across the bottom here, I want to do some more stamping so i'm going to use my we all make choices stamp set and i'm going to use these reeds so i'm going to need a i'm going to need a because i know i'm going to use this what color i think i might keep with this deep red so let me just grab that oxide Sorry. Um, so I'm thinking I might go with something a little bit deeper like the aged mahogany. I'll try that one. 
Okay, so same thing again. When I got my stamps, I trimmed them down. And I want to stamp across the bottom of my page. Fire brick would have been the better one to go with. I wonder where my fire brick is. Oh, well, too bad. Let's commit to this. Yeah, there we go. So I want to layer these up. So that's gone on there really, really nicely. So I tap mine so I don't get too much if I get any over um, stamping. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, now I'm doing it left-handed and I feel all khaki-handed. All right. Yeah, that's working for me. Building them up a bit. And I've missed a big bit there. Because I, my journal, my I'm using the Dilusions um, large journal. And my journal is quite full. So I am making sure that I'm using up every page. But of course, I've got this arch going on here, which is annoying as it is. Um, it's still part of my journal. And I do know that people... I know quite a few people that actually just skip those pages just because they like to use it flat. Um, I'm not one of those people. Um, okay, so what I've got is that stamping across the bottom. So I've got some lines along here. What I'm going to do is get my blending sponge is that still it's still a bit too red uh, too yellow sorry so I might pop a bit of color on it and I might use a clean sponge and where is that oxide gone all right so can anyone tell me what I just did with there it is stop looking God, I'm so unorganised this afternoon. I just want to blend that down a bit. Soften it. And it's just taking that harshness off it. Because I am going to be stenciling over the top of this in a moment with my leaves. But before I do that, I need to dry it off. Um, so yeah, this is the next one we're going to be using. These are my, this is my branching out stencil and do love this one. And I'm going to show you how to build them up around your page. So creating a nice, easy background first. And really it's just a bit of swipey paint up and back. Nothing too much. Um, but because this is all still wet where my oxides are, I do need to make sure that that's totally dry before doing anything else. Hey, Tammy, how are you, darling? And congratulations on your, your new um, appointment with TCW. That's fantastic. Um, I can't wait to see your creations with that. That is amazing. All right. That works for me. Okay, so what I want to do next is, let's get these babies out of the way, is I want to pull my sleeves up. Um, I want to put some leaves across the bottom here. Um, I don't want to do them in green because that's just, I mean, it will look okay because you can see the green on there but you know it's not I'm not loving that idea um my image that I'm choosing to go with has got lots of teal in it so I think I might I don't know what are your thoughts what's the vote what do you think what color should I make my leaves um
I'm having a brain fade. This is ridiculous. Get it together, Natalie. Okay. Let's go with... Turquoise and peacock. Stuff it. Let's just jump in and do it. I'm really thinking about stuff. Teal, yeah, teal or deep burgundy. I was actually just thinking of burgundy, but you know what? Here we go. Now, I'm going to make a paint swatch on my acrylic block here just because I'm moving. I would normally do it on my glass mat. Oh, that's not coming out. Um, I would normally do it on my glass mat, but because I'm sliding my journal backwards and forwards. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, I don't want it to go everywhere because seriously. Did you like that I didn't swear then? Because I was impressed that I didn't swear then. All right, so turquoise and peacock. Oh my life, here we go. All right, so again, I'm going to use my blending sponge um, and I'm just gonna take off, it's a bit dirty, so I'm just gonna clean it off. Um, take that red off with a baby wipe. And I'm gonna work around my page and add some leaves. So when I'm doing it, I'm going to be starting on this side and working over that way. Um, I don't want to put too much paint on, and this is this is the, where it gets really important because I, I, it'll transfer and I'll end up with a real hot mess. So to start with, I'm going to be using a little bit of both colors on my sponge, and I'll, I always start off my page. And I'm going to dab it on there because I'm working on the edge. And come on, there we go. Getting it on there like that. Voila, fantastic. And I'm going to leave a bit of a gap in between so I don't get any over... Um, any transfer and it gives it enough time to dry so I apologize if I get a bit of camera shake I'm just moving the move the table back off the tripod a little and I'm actually going to build these up a little higher in a moment as well and I'm just being lazy and using two different sizes Hey Julie, how are you today? Most impressed. Impressed with what? Goodness me, woman. How can I do anything that's impressive? It's just paint. All right. Okay, moving it over. I'm going to go up a little higher. Oh, at this point, I probably want to work out what side my person's going to go on. Um, I think I might put it on this side. So I'll make sure that I've got more leaves over over on this side more. Um, bring my palette in front of me. Um, so did you all tune in and watch my, my previous Facebook today, my previous live? I did a scrapbook page. Um, and I tell you what, every now and again, I surprise myself. It came out looking so good and the, and it's so bright as well. Those magicals that I was using, the new Lindy's Gang colors are just amazing. And they are so bright. I looked at it and I didn't even like the photo of the finished project. Has, I didn't even get an opportunity to edit it or anything like that or put a filter on. It's just straight off my phone. So, um, yeah, really, really cool um, project. And I can't wait for you to all try that and, um, 
and yeah tag me in it i'd love to see your variations of it because it is such an easy fun thing to do i'll see if i can go back and find the photo of uh the one that i did many many years ago and i did it in oranges and yellows for lindy's and it looked great it looked really great so um i would love to see some variations of that so what I like about using the blending tool for stencils is it gives me the ability to be able to move backwards and forwards, give it a little backwards and forwards wriggle on top, and that can change how um, the paint goes on. And I'm not getting any bleed underneath as well, which is really important. Uh, the sponge, like I said, because they're rewashable, uh, mind you, I'm just too lazy to wash mine. I usually throw them in my paint water and then they sit there for a few days and then I throw them out because, you know, that's what we do. All right, so we're getting there. So I want to extend this one down now. So I'm just going to line up the stems a little and make it happen. Yep, that works for me. And this one here needs a little extension as well. So I can go down there and overlap onto there. I could really do with some more turquoise paint. Yeah, liking it. Let's get back over onto this side very quickly. And I want to get a little bit more of this turquoise paint on my sponge. that in there um, all right so these um, this weekend anyone who places an order online goes in the drawer to win uh, stencils and stamps from my new collection so I will be sharing the love and hopefully I'll do a, uh, a live Facebook probably be Monday night um, if not Tuesday night uh, and I will draw that live um, and give you and like, post it out separately to your order. Um, so, you know what? My person's going to go there. So I'm just going to pop one in the background here. Alrighty. So I'm pretty happy with that. It's coming up really quite good. So I've got my leaves on um, i'm just going to use a baby wipe and take off the paint off my acrylic block works as a very handy little paint palette if you don't let it dry too long um baby wipes are the crafter's best friend aren't they just hey georgia how you going good 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 all right so coming along quite nicely we've got some stamping in the background we've got some stenciling in the background um We've got this stenciling over the top. Scissors. Okay. So now I'm going to cut this guy out. So this is one of the silhouettes from the Dina Wakeley Collage Collective. And I'm just going to cut that out like that. And then I'll glue that on in a moment. always handy to check what's on the other side but it doesn't matter because in the books you've always got two of each anyway so the books are $18 and I really love that they're fantastic for giving you a head start on your art journal pages it gives you a, a foundation to work with it gives you something to work on and go okay well that's what I'm going to use and um, and you can create an art journal page around an image as your focal point so I need to cut out that bit because it's annoying me. So I'm going to use a knife. So I talked about these Ulfa craft knives in my last um, live. I'm not going to waffle on it again, but it is just a straight cut out. Perfect. In the bin. All right. 
So I'm popping it on this side like that. What am I going to stick it down with? I'm going to adhere it with, I could use a glue stick, but kids use glue sticks. I don't use glue sticks in art journaling unless it's for, nah, I, I don't even use it for, nah, I don't use it. Don't use it, glue sticks. Glue sticks are not a permanent option. So I am using the Chromacool Impasto Gel Medium. It is my go-to because it is an excellent collaging adhesive. So it goes on quite thick and then you can spread it around really, really easily. Um, yesterday when I did my embossing powder demo session in the afternoon, I used the um, gel medium to use with embossing powder and it worked a treat with a stencil so you can go back and watch that any of my videos you can go back and watch on uh on my facebook feed so um they're there the whole time okay so that's about enough Voila. Straight on, straight on. Happy days. Um, paintbrush straight into water because it is glue and if you let it sit and dry, your paintbrush is essentially what we call in the industry screwed. Okay. So now I am going to add a little bit of Stabilo pencil. So Stabilo pencil, uh, a sharp Stabilo pencil would have been great. Where is it? Oh, that one's a bit sharper. Um, a Stabilo pencil is a water-soluble pencil. It is the pencil of choice by Dina Wakeley and quite a few other creatives because it is a lovely solid black and it moves around. Um, so just to show you what a Stabilo pencil does, it's lovely and black. And then if I get a paintbrush... And water activate it it's lovely and black and it gets rid of those lines um, those circle lines if you keep working at it so what I want to do with my Stabilo is just get in and make some of these marks here permanent and we'll put my paintbrush down and I can activate them now, take away this white edge from my paper. So then it looks like I've drawn this image. I've got this confident confidence here that, um, you know, I, I, I want to look at it and go, well, that, that blends perfectly into the page. Um, yes, we all know that I've stuck it on and we all know that this is clearly Dina Waitley's amazing artwork, but I want to look through and through my journal and say oh well that fits there seamlessly okay and by taking away that white edge of when you cut paper it exposes that white edge so that is what I want to that's what my pencil is getting rid of all right is that matte nail polish on your nails Natalie <laughs> yes Fiona so, no, it's actually, I had my nails done a couple of days ago. Not that you can actually tell anymore. But um, Gabby, who does my nails, she's just at Camden Park. Um, Fiona, I know it's a little bit away from home for you. But she did my nails last month and she, um, we did black polish because that's just my normal go-to. Um, and she's got like a black top coat. So um, the, the top, sorry, black, a matte top coat. So the matte top coat is what we put over my nails when we painted them this week. So it is normal um, shellac, but we just put matte, a matte polish over the top to matte them up, which is much more me. 
Does that make sense? It's the big issues today, people. The big issues. Nail polish. They did look really nice a couple of days ago. Um, but yes, Gabby did do a beautiful job of my nails. And um, she always does a beautiful job of my nails. And oh my God, she puts up with so much. Can you imagine the condition my nails come in to her each time I go every three or four weeks? Um, and I have them done because I... And I've been having them done since I was 17. But... Yeah, Gabby does an incredible job. I love the heck out of her. Um, and she's been doing my nails since they fell to pieces with my chemo. So she's um, quite the trooper, Gabby is. Alrighty, so I'm pretty happy with that. I've just darkened up my areas and given it a little bit more depth with my Stabilo pencil. Um, the Stabilo pencil also comes in white. I'm currently out of stock of the white, but I will be getting some more in very shortly. And the Stabilo pencil is quite inexpensive as well. They're like five bucks and it will last you a really freaking long time. Five, five fifty, something like that. Um, across my, with my leaves, I want to do, I want to outline these guys a bit as well. So I'm going to use my Pintor paint pen. So for all of those people who ordered them on the day that I had them on special, they are sitting here ready to be posted almost. Um, but what I want to do is just outline my leaves. Now, this page that I'm creating here is not... I've done something similar many, many years ago using a... Um, Crafters Workshop stencil, I think I did something very similar with. Um, and there's lots of variations of it that I've seen around the interwebs at the moment as well. Um, but if you've got a leaf stencil at home, this will work. If you've got a... Um, or branches or something like that, or a stamp that you could then colour, you could quite easily do this without having to buy anything new. But buying something new is all part of the fun, isn't it, guys? Um, so I'm being really loose around my stenciling here because nothing else about this page is, is perfect and precise. So I want it to be quite, quite loose. Loosey-goosey, we say. See, my husband has just got home. I've had, um, I think today just became a very expensive day because our dishwasher just decided to go and hasn't been working properly. So Trevor's like, oh, I don't know how to fix it. Shall we go and get it repaired? Oh, just go and buy another one and be done with it. But I just said to um, the lovely Kirsten, who's been here um, packing orders with me, that I hope this isn't the start because you know what happens? One appliance goes, then the whole freaking lot go, don't they? So I will be really, really pissed if the washing machine goes or the tumble dryer next. Um, Rosie has just asked, yes, Rosie, this is my stencil and this is the fine Pintor pen, the fine Pintor white marker. I use this one the most. Um, Rather, I don't use the extra fine one as much. Uh, I find that this one is more suitable for what I need it for. So, yeah, so I think Trev's just had to go out and buy some new dishwasher because, oh my God, nobody likes doing dishes, do they? Um, all right, so I've outlined all of my leaves. The last thing I need to do um, is I'm going to pop a little bit of scribble journaling across the chest of this image and I'm going to use for that I'm going to use my food ball pen um and what's it going to say what shall I journal about today I need to do a title across this side here um I will do the title that says what 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 shall I say This is the black 
No, I don't want that one. I want the black fine. Oh, I think this one's nearly empty. I have used mine, Pintor pens, to within an inch of their lives. So I'm just priming it. And maybe I need to give it a bit more of a shake. All right, there we go. Um, so okay, let's just write something. All right, there we go. So that's a start. I'm going to thicken those letters up and make them a bit more arty farty. But before I do that, I want to show you how I do my scribbly writing through my image. Um, I don't need to add any more paint or anything around here because it's all done here for me. But I want to add um, some, some words across here or something. Some what Dina, um, like I mentioned yesterday when I did the other art journal page, asymmetric writing. So it's shapes and scribble. So I like to just do up and down motions or I can turn it into words that can be read. So there's lots of G's, there's lots of V's, there's lots of... Um, bits and pieces in there that I know what it, I mean it doesn't say anything it's just lots of loops um, I also want to be able to I want to put some up here where the the oh then you put your finger on it Hang on. Um, so across the top of the head so like the thoughts might be coming out of her head um, and down here, across the bottom. And I then, uh, as my page is drying up, I'm going to pop some more writing up here and create a frame around the outside. So, I'm gonna do that off camera because like seriously, I've been going waffling onto you for like 45 minutes. Um, I'll take a photo of it up close to show you how it's finished up and go from there. But just to recap, we used my go-to favourite coloured paint, which is the Lemon Dina Wakeley acrylic paint um, for my background. And I built from there. So what I, as I mentioned, what I liked about the Lemon is it's my go-to colour. It's the one that works the best. For um, art journal pages, it creates really good foundations for paints. You can see it in the back. It's all in the back of my other pages here. Wherever I have used paint, it's in the back, in the background here as a base. It's in the background of this one as a base. It's it's in the background of this one as a base, etc. So um, the lemon is fantastic. All the paints are on special today only. So you're talking 15% off Dina Wakeley and 15% off of Dilutions. Um, so get on it. I then used the cutout piece from the Dina Wakeley Collage Collective books. These are bloody awesome. Really, really awesome. So there's two available online, Volume 1 and Volume 2. The difference between them are there might be a couple of different images. Um, I used my stamp, which I have lost on my desk. Here we go. This is from this is the um, one that I've designed. The won't let you down stamp for words across the background with distress oxides. All the dots. My personal stencil that I've designed for that one is also in the back that we put on with the blending tool. So don't forget. Jessica and I just marked these down. So there's a new tab called Weekend Special. So two different sizes, the mini ones and the big ones have just been marked down and the refills. And then my branching out stencil 
as well. So this comes with the masks. So it comes with the, the positive and the negatives in the packet. So um, you'll find those under exclusive Natalie May uh, designs on the website. Um, so we stuck that down onto here. To, oh, sorry, stenciled that onto there. And now I've just used the Stabilo pencil to go around the outside and the pinch or paint markers. So I will, like I said, I will finish off my um, doodling off camera. But other than that, thank you very much to everybody for tuning in today. Um, give me 10, 15 minutes to finish this off, fluff around with it a bit, and then I will put a photo up online. Um, other than that, Thanks very much and uh, look forward to chatting with you all soon. Um, wash your hands, kiss your kids and we'll chat with you all later.